Hi everyone, good day, great day. It's your girl Latanya with Latanya Roche Healing Hands. Um, I come today to talk um, to you more about being a role model um, and um, what that looks like um, when you're looking at different um, precepts um, that were put into place um, for us to utilize and implement in our lives. Um, you know, when it comes to um, setting boundaries, when it comes to um, you know, getting structure, um, within your life. And this also deals with, um, you know, um, pain management, coping skills and different things of that nature. All right. So today is March 6th and we will be talking about fight or blight. Um, there is a scripture um, that is attached to this and it is from first Timothy six and 11. And it says here, you man of God flee from all things. And pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Okay? Meaning that we need to consider all of those things and express all of those things, not only to ourselves and with ourselves, but also when we're having an encounter with someone else. All right? So this um, says here, in remembering, well, excuse me, it says, I remember learning about adrenaline. Um, in, you know, um, my naturopathic, um, courses that I've taken, I remember learning about adrenaline and, um, you know, how it affects the body. Um, it talks about fighting and it talks about flight. Um, when your adrenaline level rises, when you're faced with conflict, um, you, your adrenaline level rises and you, um, want to either fight or you want to fight, flight. And it goes to um, be in alignment with um, your responses and whatever it is that you've been taught, um, whatever it is that you've learned for yourself um, due to self-evaluation or, you know, just um, having experiences and being aware and present in the moment, knowing yourself um, and what happens when your adrenaline level rises, um, again, leading by example and being a role model, um, you know, knowing yourself well enough to um, be cognizant of when you have reached that point of elevation. It's called a, a peak is what it's called. And um, this is when your response or the way that you choose to react um, is important. You know, we talked about the um, trigger. We talked about the... Um, we talked about the trigger. We talked about the rise. Um, we talked about the peak when that adrenaline level has reached its peak. And when you're feeling like um, you either need to fight or you need to take flight, meaning to walk away. Um, and your response is important, um, which is why, you know, being a role model is important. At every moment when you face a trigger, um, it's no, no moment for you to actually become, you know, get, put yourself in a space of fighting. Um, sometimes it's just knowing yourself, having that level of awareness and actually taking flight saying, you know what, I'm going to go up. I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm going to deal with that. Um, once I leave here, you know, as far as myself is concerned, my, um, being is concerned and, um, figuring out how I need to move forward with, um, dealing with you. Um, so I'll finish reading here what this says. It says that the um, chemical production in our bodies um, that is responsible for the fight or flight response um, is um, a part of what I was talking about. When you're under stress, adrenaline is secreted in order to boost your energy and able and enable you to handle a situation, right? And, um, if we're hot headed people, when that, um, adrenaline is introduced immediately, you know, what it's going to look like is it's going to look like a bunch of tongue lashing and it's going to look like a bunch of, um, people reaching out and touching other people, um, you know, which is unacceptable, you know, keep your hands to yourself. Um, you know, we have a mind to think, um, we have a mouth to speak and, you know, we have to think about what it is that we want to say and choose our words wisely um, as we respond to these different situations, you know. So, you know, you don't have to fight. 
and you don't necessarily have to take flight. You can, if you're mature enough, you can actually stay in the moment and, you know, discuss whatever it is that needs to be discussed. Or you can choose because of your level of self-awareness and knowing yourself, you can choose to actually take flight, walk away from the situation and, you know, um, pull yourself together. They say cooling heads prevail, pull yourself together and actually move forward. Um, once you've worked through those, um, work through the adrenaline phases and, um, removing yourself from that situation. You can work through that on your own, in your own space, um, without having the other opposing person, um, being there to create, um, imbalance while you're trying to work your way through it. Right. So it also goes on to say here, with this energy, you can re rescue yourself um, with might, the fight, or escape from the conflict or harm by taking flight, meaning leaving the situation because I don't want to stay here because if I stay in this space, if I stay in this um, environment, if I stay in this relationship, if I stay in this situation, then it's going to create... Um, you know, it's going to start wreaking havoc, um, if you will. So therefore, um, there is when there is a level of awareness and a decision that has to be made as to how you're going to maturely handle that situation. And this is where being a role model um, comes into play. If children, if other people see you um, fighting all the time, opposed to taking the higher ground and taking flight and leaving um, and, and resolving the issues that you have, you know, um, off by yourself and then coming back to um, that person and, you know, having a, a, a conversation about it once the cooling heads have prevailed, if you will. Because you can think more clearly once you remove yourself from the situation, opposed to um, fighting and, and trying to counteract that thing in the moment. Um, sometimes, you know, we'll say things or we might respond or do something that we can't take back. So sometimes the best resolve when the adrenaline starts to rise is to actually just take yourself up from that space. You know, the word says, take up your bed and um, take up your bed and walk, take up your bed and go. So just take yourself up and go and leave that situation um, because you don't have to lay down in it and accept it. But you also don't have to stay in it and fight, um, meaning argue, um, meaning um, violence. Um, you know, meaning being abusive or abrasive, um, you know, verbally or even physically, you know, fighting, arguing, those things. Um, you don't have to stay in those sorts of situations because it does um, become erosive um, to your mindset, to your mentality. Um, so the best thing to do is to, um, you know, walk away, fight through your emotions and, you know, sort through it. And work it out with yourself and then return to that individual and, you know, have a conversation about it and find a resolve, be it, you know, um, therapy or being, be it um, severance or resignation or a notice that I'm leaving. I'm not going to be capable of um, staying, remaining in this relationship because I mean too much to myself um, for me to stay here and allow this um, kind of situation to persist. To continue on um, because it's unhealthy, um, you know, for the mind and it's unhealthy. It can become unhealthy um, physically, you know, if you're dealing with um, someone who becomes combative or abusive, um, you know, violent. So, you know, you have to make an informed decision and you have to be mature and you have to um, acknowledge yourself and, you know, change your mindset about it, you know. Um, Adrenaline prepares you to do one of those two things. And the word has given you guidance in 1 Timothy um, 6 to help you know when to use your extra energy for flight, meaning to take off and just fly away, um, you know, elevate um, yourself, elevate, elevating yourself. 
um, to move yourself away from that thing. You don't have to stoop or swoop down um, to someone else's level because they want to be argumentative or, you know, they're talking about, you know, well, we going to fight, we're going to throw these hands, but you don't have to get there. Um, you don't have to have yourself in that position. You can actually say, I'm just going to, you know, move around because that's the best resolve. You know, I don't want to fight about it. I don't want to argue about it. I'm just going to re remove myself from the situation. And perhaps, you know, when cooling heads prevail, um, we can, you know, revisit this later, you know. So it also goes on here to say, among other things, you are to flee from envy. You are to flee from strife. You are to flee from um, malicious um, talk and evil suspicions. And you are to pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and a gentle um, gentleness, right? Um, meaning if you're in a situation where somebody is trying to push you beyond your limits, or they're trying to get you out of your comfort zone, remove you, um, have you to remove your boundaries um, so that they can come into um, what it is that, you know, you're trying to do for yourself. You don't have to allow that. Um, it goes on here to say, you know, that modeling the flight from evil to good will encourage you and encourage your children to do the same. You see, because we lead by example. And, um, you know, the best way to pick something up is by observation. And then, you know, to find out whether or not it's effective, then you're going to ap actually start utilizing that and implementing that to see whether or not it's effective. And the effectiveness um, relies on um, what the end result was and what it is that you did. So if, so if, if the children saw you fighting and, you know, Everyone else that came around after the fight encouraged it and said, oh, man, you whooped so-and-so behind. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you gave him a good tongue lashing. Blase, 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 skippity, do die. Okay. Um, that's the exact response that they're going to be looking for because we've shown them by modeling um, what that is and, and actually having other people um, come around and actually encourage that type of behavior. Um, so therefore, again, we have to be mindful um, when we're approaching different things, when we're in different relationships, um, when our children are around, when there are other people watching, which is 24 seven, there's always someone watching. I don't care what time you may need to rush out to the store, be it in the noonday or in the middle of the night. Um, there's always going to be someone else that's out. You're not going to be the only vehicle that's on the road. Um, so, you know, somebody's always watching. So we just have to be mindful of, um, you know, the other people who are watching, um, as well as the example that we're setting for ourselves, um, whether or not we would be embarrassed by that. Um, why wouldn't we be embarrassed by um, the way that we behave? You know, every everything isn't worth a physical fight. Um, you know, some people are lovers and not fighters, you know, meaning that they will take flight opposed to fight because they don't want the fight. And, you know, sometimes people experience things when we're, again, children, we see different things happen that we don't understand. Um, you know, sometimes we might have, you know, heard an argument and, and, and that person still stayed. You know, um, sometimes there might have been a reaching out and a touching of and, and, and you know, the one who was touched still stayed, um, which made it seem to us as if it was an affirmation, as if it was OK. So we have to be mindful of what it is that we're modeling um, for our children and for those who are watching, uh, because it's detrimental as we move forward um, and try and gain more traction um, to make a change, to be a, make a difference. Um, not just in our own lives, but that it might have a ripple effect and go out into, um, you know, go out into the rest of the world um, because, you know, we're all in it, you know, we're all living, we're all breathing. And therefore, for every um, action, there is an equal and an opposite one, um, you know, so you never know how far your reach actually is um, when you're thinking about observation and, and others seeing you. Um, so it's important, you know, that you um, become more self-aware, um, that you recognize that you're a role model, whether you want to be a role model or not, and um, that what it is that you're practicing, that other people see you practicing, um, that it's actually something um, that's going to have 
a better effect um, than what what someone else may have expected. Okay, and that's the best way that I can put that without um, going into it too far. Um, you guys, I've already held your time long enough. Um, you know, you can like, you can comment, you can share, you can subscribe. It's all left up to you. Um, but the information is what it is. You know, we can either fight it out or we can just choose to take the high road and, you know what I'm saying, elevate our minds, change our mindsets and, you know, do better. All right. So, it's your girl, Latanya, <laughs> with LRHH, and I'm signing off. I hope you guys have a beautiful and an amazing day. Um, I hope you accomplish whatever it is that you've set out to accomplish on today. I hope that you um, think things through and um, not push yourself and, um, you know, be in the pre to be in the presence of those um, who actually may be creating a trigger um, for you, okay? So, it's all about being self-aware, um, acknowledging self and being respectful and mindful of self because when you look at someone else and you're treating someone else a particular way you're telling them that it's okay for them to treat you that same exact way because you show someone how you want to be treated by the way that you treat them all right i'm signing off have an amazing day